Feed Feed community, my name is Mary Ann Dwyer and I'm from the Beach House Kitchen. And today I'm going to show you guys how to make my marbled Easter egg sugar cookies. A huge thank you to the Feed Feed for letting me take over their Snapchat today and share my recipe with you guys. So these are the final cookies and in the next snap I'm going to give you a list of ingredients. So get ready to screenshot. The first step is to cream our butter and our sugar until light and fluffy. Next, we're going to add in our lemon zest, egg, and vanilla until well blended. With the mixer on low, we're going to slowly add our flour. Okay, we're going to roll out our dough on a floured surface to a quarter inch thickness, and then we're going to get ready to cut out our shapes. So place your cutouts on your prepared baking sheet and we're going to throw them in the oven to bake for 10 minutes until lightly brown. Okay, next up it's the royal icing, guys. Put all your ingredients for the royal icing in your mixer fitted with a whisk attachment. You're going to want to mix it on low for one minute and high for two minutes. You'll know the royal icing is done when you run a knife through it and the line quickly disappears within a few seconds. While the cookies are cooling, you're going to put two cups of the royal icing in a small bowl and you're going to get ready to paint. So dip your paintbrush into the gel food coloring and swirl it into your royal icing. Add as many colors as you guys like. I'm adding today ivory, pink, and sky blue and teal. So now it's the fun part guys. Take your cookie, dip it, swirl it in the icing, let the excess drip off, and put it on your tray. Okay, so how pretty are those guys? They're perfect for Easter. You're going to want them to cool on your tray for an hour to two hours. Thanks for baking with me today guys. Again, I'm Mary Ann Dwyer from the Beach House Kitchen. I hope you guys have a happy Easter and enjoy the cookies. Thanks Feed Feed. And to get the full recipe, just head to thebeachhousekitchen.com. And on Instagram, if you'd like to follow me, I'm at thebeachhousekitchen. Thanks.